Hey, we're going to talk about selling memberships today and why we should sell memberships and all about memberships. But really, like, that, that first sale, where, where's that first sale really uh, happen? It's so true. Like, I remember hearing years ago, the first place uh, a sale takes place is in your own mind. Like, it's, I, I, Covey used to talk about, like, uh, the first place a building is built is in the architect's mind. And what he really means is, and I saw this in my own career, there's, there's a bunch of times you, you know you're meant to talk about something, so you talk about it, even in the class, but you don't really believe it. This is all about like uh, having conviction in your head and everything that we talk about, it's kind of like Marlon's law at the tool shed. You know, I, I used to say uh, dogs smell fear and uh, people smell BS. <laughs> like if you're just saying stuff to say it and you don't really have the conviction, people know. And that's a bunch of these people that you and I talked over the years and they're like, well, I talk about it. Nobody wants it. That's because you don't believe in it. And, and, and that is what, that, that's all non-verbally communicated. So this morning, we want to talk about um, how you get that conviction. And so for me, I remember the first time I caught major religion on, on a maintenance plan. I was an air conditioning tech. You might be a plumber. You might be an electrical guy. Um, I remember the house. And it's so funny how the, the trades are like this. I remember the house. It was up in E-Town, not that far from here. It was a uh, Sunday afternoon, and it was air conditioning season. And I remember, it's so crazy, it's like 15 years ago, and it was a Lennox Low Boy furnace and it had an air conditioning coil. So for those who don't know, in summer, when your air conditioning filter gets dirty, that restricts airflow. Restricted airflow causes these coils to freeze up and they, get all, they look like an igloo. Well, this igloo had uh, uh, created an ice dam and that ice dam went right over a, about $2,000 worth of, of equipment, went over the, the, uh, the oil burner, primary motor, went over the transformer, it dripped down, and on those units, the, all the control boards are right in front. So for the one of a $4 filter, this customer was, I forget, it was like 1200 bucks. It was, either way, they didn't have the money for it. It was a fairly new piece of equipment, and of course, because it was a filter, there's no warranty. And so here's the deal. What I learned that day was, Calls like that, they don't, it's sort of like winning the lottery. It certainly doesn't happen to everyone, but it shouldn't uh, happen to our customers. They like winning the lottery, like it doesn't happen to everybody, but it happens to some people. Our job as a, as a home service professional, whatever service we provide is to protect our customers from whatever the bad stuff is that these plans are designed to, to stop. And so like for me, Jerry, that day, that was the day I said, I don't care what I need to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn how to talk about this. I just felt really bad. You ever been a, a customer and you, you can clearly tell that whatever news you're given isn't great? And I felt bad for that people, uh, that person, right? I had empathy and I just, I wanted to save as many people from that, that future conversation as possible. Well, you, you know that, that membership, when they do that, like they, they catch a small problem before it becomes a big investment. That's right, that's right. And you catch a small problem before, before it becomes a big investment. And so when you think about it, like a lot of people have memberships for a lot of different things. Yep. Like at home, like we have a, a car wash membership and it's twenty nine ninety five a month, much more than an HVAC oh or a plumbing yeah, yeah. membership. And, yeah. and because you want to protect that investment that you made with the car and you, you want it to run. And all you know? you're doing is washing the outside of the car. <clears throat> and it runs better if it's a little cleaner, right? <laughs> I must do that factory clear coat. <laughs> Yeah, so, so it, you know, people understand these terms, and, and we're seeing a lot of these, these uh, plans become monthly investments. So there's a number of different reasons uh, beyond just the, the, uh, the outlying scenarios of where somebody, you know, loses the, the luck lottery and, and ends up with a big expense. What are, what are some of the reasons that, that, that you think of? Well, just think about this. Like, who benefits... When, when you sell somebody a membership or they join the family at your company, like who benefits the most? Like the customer benefits the most because we're gonna come out, we're gonna clean that unit, we're gonna check for safety with a gas furnace, yeah. like that, that carbon monoxide and, yep. and all that kind of good stuff. So, so the customer benefits first, let's just say that. And then the company benefits sure. <clears throat> because they have year round work they have a recurring revenue. Yep. They have people that like when their unit breaks, they don't call somebody else. They call your company because they have yeah. a membership. And, and, right? and that's really good for the customer too because that way when the customer needs us, there's someone there to answer the phone because if, yeah. if all we did was make money two months out of the year, they, we wouldn't stick around too long. Well, and as a technician, you also benefit because you have year round work. That's right. And you have family. You can yep. go back to the same homes over and over and over. They get to know you, like, like you that. and trust you. And, and, uh, 
And it's just a demand call waiting to happen. That's it's what you mechanical. Say. You, you say that a lot, right? Right. It's a demand call waiting right? to happen. Yeah, and for me, here's the here's the bottom line. Like they just don't make stuff like they used to. We've all seen it, and you can bemoan that fact, but reality is what it is. And at the tool shed, that's just what we talk about, reality, right? So we've all seen um, you know, one of those 30 year old air conditioners that we pull out and the capacitor is the size of a small VW bug, and but it's still working. Meanwhile, the ones we put in today three years, four years, we're pulling them out, the contactors don't. So that's where, that's where like, the reality is just what it is. And we know that with all those safety features, they never used to break in the old ones because they never had them. Well, it's like, a, it's like a, a brown or an avocado green refrigerator that you see in somebody's <laughs> garage. Like they use that refrigerator for 20 years and then it's in their garage for 20 years. Your new refrigerator no. with touch screen and water and ice, that's never gonna be in your garage. Right, they right. don't make them like they used it to. It clouds over outside and your refrigerator breaks. <laughs> so air conditioners are the same way. Like, hey, they're super energy efficient. You're, you're, they're, they're, gonna, yep. they're gonna be like, they're gonna dehumidify your house a little better. They're not gonna last a really long time. So you gotta have maintenance. That's it. So how do we talk about this? Well, you know, I was fortunate in my time that HVAC Hall of Fame, Charlie Greer, tech daddy himself, I, he, he has a bunch of material, you should, you should check out his website, but we, um, we, we talked and he has this whole thing about how you should talk about it. Well, here, why don't we, why don't we Let's just Let's talk it? about it. So, so, you know, it's one thing to know it yourself, but then you have to be able to communicate it and he has this whole thing about how you talk about it, how you show it. He has this principle that, you know, people aren't that good at math. Like you got to do the arithmetic for people. Like yes, you if, do. If, if you if you've got basic addition, think about it. Like you've seen those Jimmy Kimmel interviews in the street where they ask people basic, and they're like, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's that same moment when you put math in front of people. So um, they're like, I, I was told there'd be no no math on this quiz. Hey, so that's a really good tip. Make sure you do the math. Oh, yeah. Make sure you show the savings. Big 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 time. People can't. Uh, always finish the thought, right? Never assume anything. So the way that, uh, Charlie always talked about it is, uh, and, and if you've seen our other videos, we'll, we'll just roll right in. So uh, Mr. Smith, would you like to know what I found, uh, what it'll take to get up and running and all the costs involved? Yeah, go ahead, tell okay, us. Okay, so what I've done is I've put uh, together uh, a number of options. Now, as you can see, I've, I've got two sets of pricing here. Now, that's because uh, we have regular pricing and then we have our, our, our club membership or family plan, whatever you want to call it. We have that here, and you can see that's cheaper, and you can I've circled the savings. Now, I've built the price of that monthly payment into the second option here. As you can see, the savings offset the cost of this membership, and it does come with a bunch of other benefits I'm happy to talk about. But this is the, the way to save the most amount of money possible here's today's cost you take a look at that take as long as you like I'm happy to do any of those just let me know how you want me to move forward that was lovely I just, hey, that should make up for anything he said about cricket or anything <laughs> like that but they're listen, very angry people. like hey let's throw him a curveball like yep. if I'm the customer yeah. and you say hey hey I, I get that on my, my on my old system Eddie but right. I just bought a new system yeah. from y'all and why do I need a maintenance plan on a new system well you I saw that you went with a top end investment, high, high energy efficiency. I'm assuming you want that energy efficiency for the life of the system, not just the day you bought it. True. So we're gonna have to get that back and we're gonna have to check all the features, but we're gonna have to keep it clean. And the good news is we'll come out, we'll schedule it for you and we're gonna get it back to as close to factory fresh as possible and protect that investment, get those savings coming in every month. Sound good? Sounds good. So like if, if the customer says, well, Eddie, yeah. do I need it on a new piece of equipment? Yes. And that was yesterday's episode about stop talking. Like if they ask you another question, you can answer that yeah. question. But if they ask you if you need it on a new piece of equipment, the answer is yes. Yeah, like you don't overthink it, man. No, no. Just, just, just be like, <laughs> yeah, you do, of course. Next question, right? And, I mean, listen, they don't know us, so they're asking, but you're the trusted professional. And so just be clear, if they've got questions, the last, remember, clarity is kindness. So listen, we've given you a lot. You might want to re uh, rewind this, uh, watch it a few times, save this one, because I'm telling you, if you're the person and you come up against all of these uh, calls and you're the person the company sends and you bring people into the family, you're always gonna have work. If That's you right. are the guy or the lady that makes the family bigger, you're always gonna have people, the company is gonna value you, and uh, it's, it's, it's great to have those people on the team. So let, that's it. Listen, let's, uh, let's break down a challenge. Uh, whether, regardless of the trade, if your company has some sort of plan, your mission, should you choose to accept it this week, 
is to bring them into the family. And uh, for bonus points, if you're really bad at this and you're self-aware enough to know this, talk to your, talk to your team leader, talk to yeah. your owner, your boss, whatever. Grab the person that does it really well, go behind the dumpster, buy them an iced tea and help them uh, help you and get good at it. This is one of those yeah. things that they shared. We're all about being better. Mm -hmm.